Did you come here today with a message of hope for tanker owners? I always come with a message of hope, but I want to secure that they really do see the risks out there. Okay, tell me about some of the risks then. Well, there is a short-term risk for the tanker owners, and that is that we have a very large amount of floating oil storage out in the market. If the oil market changed the attitude of future pricing, then that could be liquidated, and then we will get spare capacity out in the market. You said um, oil demand in, in the US was, was already past the peak. Um, is, is this really bad news for tanker owners? Well, tanker owners would like to see growing demand because growing demand in the United States of America, for example, means growing import. And that means growing seaborne trade and good news for a demand for tanker. However, the reality is that the US is a mature market and it has been going over the peak on the demand side. Uh, which sort of countries now might see uh, growth in demand? Well, the mature markets are mainly the United States of America, the European markets, especially the Western European countries, and Japan. The growth market is driven by China, India, and other emerging economies. And uh, we've already seen this year tanker owners beginning to order ships again. Is this very unwise? Not necessarily. It all depends what type of vessel and if you can get the benefit of a low price and a good delivery for a market that could recover within a year or two.